My question is to the Prime Minister. A typical Australian family with a mortgage today is paying $1,700 a month more than when the Coalition was in government last year. Power bills are rising sharply and the cost of living is going up and up. Inflation is at its highest level in 30 years. Will this out-of-touch Prime Minister finally admit that families always pay more under Labor? The member for Newcastle, the member for Lyons, the member, the member for Cooper will cease interjecting. Give a call to the Prime Minister. Yes, Mr. Speaker, I'm, I'm asked uh, a very broad question. The member for Deakin is warned. About the cost of living and the impact of inflation and housing and, and energy policy. And indeed, we had legislation last December about energy policy. Uh, we had the cap on gas and on coal, uh, gas here, coal in New South Wales and Queensland, and that made, that made a, a difference of uh, halving the wholesale price that was predicted at the time of the October budget. And we also had a $1.5 billion, billion dollar energy price relief plan that the Deputy Leader of the Opposition uh, voted against. But we voted in favour of it, and that will be the included in the, the May opposition. budget. Um, but there is an opportunity for redemption, Mr Speaker. I always believe that people can redeem themselves. <laughs> I, 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 I have that faith. The, the nuns at St Joseph's Camperdown Order. taught me that, Mr Speaker. They did. And there's an opportunity on housing with the Housing Australia Future Fund to actually do something about housing policy. And this is what the HIA, the Housing Industry Association, said. The government's goal to build 30,000 social houses and believe it's a worthy goal to get behind more supply means cheaper rents. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the Deputy Leader says that that is irrelevant. I actually think it isn't irrelevant at all going forward. Going forward. Uh, fortunately, some over Order, there... The Prime, Minister will, the Prime Minister will pause. The order. I'll hear from the Deputy Leader of the Opposition on a point of order. On a point of relevance, Mr Speaker, the Prime Minister is simply not addressing the question at all in any way, and we have asked this question hundreds of times, and it never gets an answer. Resume, resume your seat. Order. Members on my right, the Deputy Leader was heard in silence. The Leader of the House, we shown the same courtesy, I give him the floor. Uh, Mr Speaker, the final part of that question and it's been the final part of a number of questions, goes to particularly asking ministers, or in this case the Prime Minister, to compare and contrast where would you pay more. That tag specifically invites a comparison with the previous government. That's exactly what it's doing, and the Prime Minister is simply responding to exactly that part of the question. Order. Order. The Prime Minister was talking about housing and quoting the HIAA. Order. I'm just going to ask him to make sure that's relevant to the part of the question which was about the cost of housing and the cost of mortgages as well. And I give him the call. Thanks, Mr. Speaker. And um, the Master Builders Association uh, had this to say, the, the CEO. They called on the Senate not to miss an opportunity for sensible reform in helping to achieve the housing needs for the future. That's what they've had to say. But you don't have to go to the business community. You could just go to a member of the back bench, because this is what the member for Bass had to say. At its core, it is a step forward towards providing more Australians, more Tasmanians, mums and dads, women escaping family and domestic violence, older Australians and younger people with a roof over their head. I can't stand here as an elective representative and make a choice to ignore their needs. They're in one. There in one paragraph is a member of the opposition's own team calling out, calling out the fact that they do ignore their needs, calling out the fact that they just vote no to everything, regardless of whether it will make a practical difference to people's lives. The Housing Australia Future Fund will make a practical difference to people's lives, which is why those opposite should support it. 